Good morning, everyone. It's Life Skills 101 with Mama Shaver, and today we're making seed, we're seeding or sprouting seeds. I am tongue tied this morning. It's another beautiful, cloudy day out there, and I'm enjoying it very, very much. Hopefully, it'll cool my pool down because it's supposed to be in the 90s again this week. So, we're going to sprout some alfalfa sprouts. These are not the only seeds that you can sprout. You can sprout broccoli, watercress, pretty much everything that has a little tiny seed like this, you can sprout. I'm trying alfalfa and they worked. Look, I grew those all by myself. I am very proud. It took about five days is all, and they're really easy. Here's what I did. I took a tablespoon of these seeds. I put them into this jar with some water and I'm gonna let them sit for six to eight hours. After that, I'm gonna drain the water out with, and, I'm gonna, and I have this cute little lid that I bought. It's just a seed sprouting lid. I'm gonna drain the water out. I'm gonna fill it up to the top with water, drain the water out, and then I'm gonna make sure, I swirl the seeds around so that they sit on the, on the outside of the jar, just like that, but all of them will after a day. And then you just wait for the magic to happen. And then you uh, do the same thing the next day. Put water in it, drain it all out, make sure that they sit on the side of the jar. They don't really have to sit on the side of the jar, but this way they, um, they have room to kind of grow. And you do that same thing. Add the water, swirl it around, drain the water, let them sit three or four days in a row, sometimes twice a day if you want to. Here are the directions. And in five days, you have this. It's that easy. You don't have to have a windowsill to put them on unless you want them to turn green. And I had mine turn green by just setting them out in the sun for like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Why did I say 25? Weird. A few minutes outside when I was swimming or something and I brought them back in so they wouldn't get too dry. And then I rinsed them off again. But the only time you're keeping water in here is when you're sprouting them, soaking them for the first time. After that, all you do is you want to get as many of the seeds to sit on the side of your jar as possible. It's a lot easier. It's really easy to do because they're wet. And you just change the water, rinse them out, change the water out of them every single day and um, drain them and try to get all of the water out that you can because those, those little seeds absorb a lot of water. And that's it. And it'll grow into that. What I did after that was I didn't want all the little seeds in there because I didn't want them getting stuck in my teeth. So when this was ready this morning, I took them out of the big jar. I had sprouted them in this jar right here. I took them out of the big jar, put them in a bowl of water. The seeds that were sticking to the sprouts um, sunk to the bottom. I pulled up these alfalfa sprouts and I just threw out the, the, the spent seeds down into the drain. Actually, I didn't do that. I put them in my compost. So just in case some of those seeds didn't germinate, they'll germinate in my compost pile, which will be kind of fun to see. And that's it. So let me repeat that one more time. You take a tablespoon of seeds, put them into a jar with clean, fresh water, soak them for six to eight hours. After that, drain the water, add more water, swirl them around, drain the water, let those seeds sit on the outside as much as possible on your jar. They don't have to, but it is helpful. Do that every day, sometimes twice a day if you remember, until they get to the size and color that you like. And then you enjoy them. And since I already have a jar right here, I know I'm probably gonna eat those in the next couple days. I'm starting another jar so I don't have to wait too long in between my sprout obsession. Got it? Great. Comment if you have questions. I'd be happy to answer them for you. This is my first time doing this and it was a success and I did not expect it to be a success. I'm usually one of those people that has to try things two or three times to get it right because I'm impatient. And those of you who know me know this is true. All right, have a great day. Be kind to one another. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you later. Ciao.